Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. And I'm about to talk about something that I think we actually need to, like, unpack more another time. Okay. Like, <laughs> on the show. Okay. Jojo Siwa. <gasps> okay, I'm obsessed. I'm obs- what, what is happening? What is going on? What is happening? I'm about to do it on the show in real time. Yeah. Oh a little peek behind the curtain. But I think we also need to then find more time to talk about it because... Things are going a bit crazy. Sounds right. straight to me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. When I am in my little rabbit hole, Day. I'm gonna start sending you all my JoJo Siwa things that keep coming up in my algorithm. Can you send it to me? Because I just yes, well, she's gay her, now. Yeah, but between her and Britney Spears, she's keeping me up at night. Sounds straight to me. <laughs> <laughs> Blackie only talks like that now. Day. <laughs> what are you up to on the weekend, Blackies? Day. <laughs> okay. Um, and tonight. Sounds straight to me. Oh, okay. Wet, straight, wet, straight Thursdays. Mm. On a Thursday? On a Thursday. Hey, I'm back, guys. It's me. Hi, Tim. Enjoy the podcast. <laughs> this is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. It's Ricky Lee. It's Tim Blackwell. It's Joel Creasy. It's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Tim and Joel, the best I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best day of my whole life. Wow. We're the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. I thought it was a tiny puby wig. <laughs> Welcome I, to Thursday. I apologise again, beautiful Ricky. I did genuinely think it was a tiny oh, puby wig. I, I'm, I'm still shook to my core that imagine how I felt when I had to go on national TV with that hair. I know. They did that to me. That's why I don't trust anyone. That's the reason. That's the reason. That's probably the oh, reason I don't know. trust anyone. That makes a lot of sense. Because they and said I was, they were going to give me Diana Ross hair when I did Proud Mary on Australian Idol and they gave me a tiny little afro. And that was the that was the day I fell fell in love with you though. Like I, really? I definitely voted nineteen ten ten, Ricky. Absolutely, I did. Yeah, it was Proud nineteen Mary. ten ten, Ricky too. It wasn't it wasn't pubic wig nineteen ten ten. <laughs> no, it was nineteen ten ten. Uh, we talked about that at the end of yesterday's oh show. Gosh. And what was the song you were singing? I sang Proud, Proud Mary. Mary. Oh, I was Proud Mary. Yeah. Right. Okay. Nice. Do 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 it's such a good song. I still love this song. I, do I this still listen I do, to your version. Do you? I still do yes. this at gigs to yeah. this day. I love it. And it's the crowd always loves it. Yeah. Everyone's up I, out of their seats doing the, you know, you do your hair flick. I've got a sore neck because I did this the other night the other at night. my gig. And oh. I, do I, the I play it at house out. parties. Oh, your version. Oh, Brackets, my goodness. Mickey's version. I'm still puffed. Wow. I should give more Tina a go. I um, mean, but we are going to talk about the uh, we're going to talk about the top ten on Apple's albums. Oh, the best uh, hundred albums of all time. Yeah, we'll do that very soon. I know oh, how much you love a list. I hate lists. I've decided they just they make me angry. <laughs> and I think, I think only... they're designed to make you angry too. I feel like you should yes, only get lists from like your sources, like Hot bitch. Rolling Stone. Well, I did this. I did that. I went and saw. You know? I went and looked at the five hundred greatest albums of all time on Rolling Stone. Did that make you angry? It made well? me happy. Oh, Made so me much there you happier. Go. You yeah, just yeah, need yeah. to go to your people. They're my people. people. <laughs> yeah, they're my people. Not Zane Lowe, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, lots happening on today's show. Quick draw guess. We're all very excited about this person after five o'clock. I might go off piste, but I'm always on brand. That's so they're up. smart. They've used the word piste. Piste. But I love this. It's brand new hosier. It's so good. It's called Too oh, Sweet I love this. here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. It's hosier. Takes his whiskey neat and his coffee black. Just so you know. Too Every sweet. time I listen to that song, I can't not, I can't help myself. I can, I can hear like Niles Barkley crazy. Yeah, I know you were saying that. When, yes. I remember when. Yes. It's got the I same like. Something. I can't figure it out. There's something you in there that sounds. Miss Warhurst need to just spend a day together because she can pick. Really? Like the tune out of every song. I feel it's like a superpower. I wonder if it's if it's a if it's a conscious thing. Or if it just it happens to just have the same kind of instrumentation. Yeah. I have to look at the credits of the The universe song. works in mysterious ways. Oh, it sure does. <laughs> and you can get all the answers you want if you just try and look for them. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Or just Google it. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Oh, there we go. 
Hey, aim for the moon because if you miss, you land amongst the stars. <laughs> oh, that's what my grade three teacher wrote to me on my end of year on my on my report card. Is that the one you wanted oh, wow. to date? No, that was my grade four teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was my grade four exchange <laughs> my exchange teacher from Canada. And you landed and on his name was Mr. Hollywood. Tool. Yep. <laughs> Mr. What? Mr. Tool was his name. Oh my god! You oh, know no, my English Canadian teacher in year four hot. was Mrs. Language. Mrs. Language. Oh my yeah, god! It's a real <gasps> oh my gosh! Her my name form. Is her job. My form teacher in grade twelve because she she was the Indonesian Tate teacher and her so Boo in Indonesian is Mrs. and her surname was Tay. We had Boo Tay. Oh, oh my god! Amazing. She was the most gorgeous woman ever. Oh, Hello, Boo, Boo Tay. Tay. If you somehow managed to hear this. I love you. So what is Boo? Mrs. Miss. Mrs. Miss or Mrs. Actually, she was the Indonesian teacher, the but she was our form kind of. She looked after us all through grade twelve. Circling back to is your name your job? Yeah. I, I I read this the other day and I couldn't believe it. Yeah. The new head of Uber Eats Australia, Ed Kitchen. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Well, <laughs> like, what? what? Well, that's a bit of a like a misleading one because right. if he's the boss of Uber Eats, he's not spending much time in the kitchen. He's no, not true, in the kitchen. Actually. He's not doing his name. Is your name not your job? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that Joel Creasy. That one's not my job. Oh my god, that's oh, not actually, your job. It is when I think about it sadly. <laughs> it okay, I, I thought we'd start the show like this so we can get it over with. Okay, I thought I knew that this when I when I woke up and I read this, I knew that this would make you furious. And we want to know because I here's the thing. I'll, I'll I'll say it. So I don't think I, I don't have an answer to this question, but we would like you to know if you if you have one. What is the best album of all time? Thirteen, twenty four, ten. Give us a call. Even one of the one of the top ten that you think. What's your favorite album? Basically, hundred percent. You know, uh, because Apple oh. Music today just released um, their version of the best hundred albums of all time. What they are saying are the best hundred albums of all time. Do you they've want been me? Drip, they've been dripping us with all of them, but the top ten came out today. Oh, so dripping the top. Us. Okay, so, they, so they, they've, they've been dripping us. They've been dripping all week. Just so you know, Usher Confessions is ninety five. There you go. Top okay, albums so this of list is going to be wild. You guys okay, well then I'm. He shouldn't have been doing Super Bowl. He's got at least one album in the top hundred best albums of all time. Oh. Boom! There, I said it. Do you want me to say anything else? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want me to tell you the top ten albums? Yeah. I'll, yeah. yeah. Can I take do. a guess at one? Because uh, it, it is one of my favourite albums. Well, why don't you say it, but we won't say yes or no. Say okay, it. J- Jagged Little Pill, Alanis Morissette. Oh, that's not in the top ten, but surely it's in here. Let me just have a little look. That's my only it? cool album. Otherwise, I'd say like the Wicked original cast recording from 2003. <laughs> Oh Hang God. on, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I can't see. <laughs> the original Surely Lion King Broadway here. cast recording, 1997. So anyway, sorry, this sorry, is not very good radio. Let's just get going. Okay. Let's do the top 10 and we'll find okay, it. We'll, 13. We'll find it. She's, no. Oh, she's 13. No. I was looking from 100. 31. She's not 31? I know, that's oh. ridiculous. All right, so. Oh, mate, this is a terrible list. Don't number worry, I'm 10, angry about it. I love this album, and this should have won Album of the Year at the Grammys, the year that Adele won. No shade on Adele, but this this album, Lemonade Lemonade by Beyonce, is one of the greatest albums, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, but top 10 of all time, like number 10 of all time. I think it it represents so much as well. It's the music, it's the cultural representation, it's everything that this album did. Okay, no, I I get that. I I would imagine. All right. Um, Number nine was Nevermind by Nirvana. Incredible. Yes. Similarly to Lemonade. Yep. Influenced many a band. Yep. Uh, number eight was Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. Huge. Oh, of course. This was massive. Mm-hmm. Uh, number seven, Good Kid by Mad City and Kendrick Lamar. Oh, really? That's what I'm Drake. saying. Stand up. I mean, really? Well, well, Alanis sorry. Morissette's 31 and this is in there. Wait, the Rolling this... Stones are on the line. Um, sorry, what? Exile on Main Street? Yeah, I know that this is also why you would hate the number one album. Oh, is it part It's also it's because part you don't love this genre of music. So the but appreciation. I appreciate, I appreciate it, but it's But not I don't of think you can time. appreciate it if you can't wrap your head around why it's great and why it's great for so many people. So you're saying, drank. That is drank. a great song. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great song. But you're, actually, you're saying that out of all, uh, all the music ever created in the world, <laughs> and, and I don't want to show my age here by saying that, but of all the music created in the world, you shot bang, bang. And then everyone goes, you don't understand the cultural significance but Kendrick of Kendrick is... Kendrick Drank. is a genius. Sure. He is amazing. <laughs> I like Lyrically, King Gunter. That's incredible. good. That's not there. Where's King Gunter? Okay. What number, number are we up to? We're oh up to number gosh, six. Up to this number is six. such a wonderful album. I listened to this so much growing up. Songs in the Key of Life, Stevie yeah. Wonder. Oh, hey, oh that's, that's a bit of fun. Not my genre, but appreciate that. To no, me, that's me a good number either. six. 
I agree with that. It's not Go- earshot brain. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Stevie, yes. <laughs> Number five, Blonde by Frank Ocean, which will piss you off, I know. What? Of all time? Of all time? <laughs> like, like, I love Frank Ocean, of all time. but of all time. Okay. okay. Can I just read the heading? Apple Music's best 100 albums of all time. Not of the year. Yeah, or I wonder if today, because I'm feeling in a certain way. I wonder if streaming and the streaming numbers of these albums has a lot to do with it. No, is it's Zane Lowe. It's Zane Lowe and he's got a lot to answer for. Oh, my God, I thought you said Zan <laughs> Rowe. I was like, what? don't blame Zan Rowe. <laughs> no, it's um, Zane okay. Lowe. This will make you happy. This is huge. Purple Rain. Purple hey. Come yeah. on. Prince. I can get behind that. Purple Rain, Prince and the Revolution. And just one of the greatest musicians of all time in the best albums of all time. Not yeah. Earshot, Drank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we've got some artists that everyone can get behind. Number three, Abbey Road by the Beatles. Yes! I've heard of them. A couple all of time. times. Of all time. Huge. And why not? Here comes the sun, Drank. Oh, that would be a good remix. <laughs> that's the, that's more than Day Drunk. Yeah. Here comes the sun. Drank. Okay, number two. Yes. I'm sure this will be divisive for some people. Thriller by Michael Jackson. It is an incredible. Huge. No, album. huge. Of course. Michael, I, I, I get have this it. On, I, this, I have a first edition of this on vinyl. It's so good. I can separate the art with the artist, etc. Yeah. What's your favourite Michael Jackson song? Mine. Yeah. The one about um, uh, bl- blues. Oh no, that's Elvis. <laughs> I like that. I don't really care about us. Oh, I was going to say blues play shoes. Yeah, really oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I like that. I love one. that song. Okay, that's my and the number too. one, Apple Music's number one best 100 albums of all time is the Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Yes. I've seen people going wild on X about this today because it, it seems to top every list. Why is it so good? It is, it, again, I like her. Much, much like with Lemonade and with Kendrick and with Frank Ocean, there was just so much about this album that was, it was a cultural shift. It was a, it was a moment in time that everyone remembers. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. obviously not. Obviously not you two. But like, there was so, like, Do Wop, X Factor is such an incredible song. Where, the, where was the first Rolling Stones entry? The first hey, Rolling Stone. What number were they? Let's just get to some calls. So we've got Nathan here. What's your best album while we find that? Nathan, what's your best album? Jeff Buckley, great. Yes! Oh. One of my all-time favourites. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should do a top 100 yes. and we'll tear it apart. I think Grace is in my... You should. Like, yeah, yeah. It's one of the top 20 albums of all time, Nathan. You're 100% right. <laughs> I was going to say we should all do one, but Joel. My, I, my, <laughs> I get like musical theatre soundtrack. And also, I'd only have like fifteen. Yeah, you because I don't know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> where is Jeff Buckley on Lion this list? Lion King soundtrack would be your number one. Where is Jeff Buckley on this get, list? Babe, where's where's, where's Led Zeppelin on this list? You know. Oh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, where's <laughs> Led Zeppelin two? I don't know why that one. I just decided to get an order. <laughs> yeah, thank you though. Just saying, <laughs> saying anything I say like. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, do it again. Do it again. Do it, again, do it with Shelley. <laughs> okay, what about Elton John? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I love Auntie Elton. Is Auntie was that Auntie Elton on the list? Hang on, are you saying, She's had on. some great songs. Gemma's just said to me something. Hang on, wait. Jeff Buckley. Gemma's just said that Jeff Buckley's not on this list. And now I can see her frantically since she's done. Yeah, but guess out. what no, is? No. Get rich or die trying. Fifty Cent is on there. Boom. It's a great album. Party time. See? See? Oh, my God. Me and Danny are ready to go and listen to that. We want to go put on Get Rich or Die Trying. Hi, Shelley. Hi, Shelley. Oh, listen to your sad sex. Shelley, Shelley, firstly, Jeff Buckley is not in the top 100 albums of all time, apparently. Okay, thanks, Apple. Shelley, what's your best album of all time, babe? My best album of all time is Carol King Tapestry. Oh, amazing oh, album. Yes, oh, yes. Shelley. I've seen that musical. The most heartbreaking that is, album. That is number 38 on Apple Music's 100. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh my God. Albums Just above time. Alanis. My gosh. <laughs> Linda. Come on, Linda. Say something Hi, musical guys. or something. Hi. Yeah, go. Rumours. Fleetwood yes. Mac. Yes. Oh. Good stuff, All Linda. All are so cool. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you guys cool. are really yeah, cool. I'm like, so underground. No, but I'm waiting for someone to be like, the Aladdin soundtrack. You love real music. Where's Led, Rumours? Led number Zeppelin 11. is number 27, by the way. And Rumours is 11. All right, thank you for your calls. Sorry, thank Apple. You thank you, calls. I'm not with you on this one. Lauren Hill, Beyonce. Everything. 
Boom, there, I said it. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Do you want me to say anything else? Driving you home <laughs> on Nova. Oh, yes. We've just talked a lot about music. You'd be happy to know during the ads I got even angrier at the list. I know. Oh, I did love you? It. I popped out to get a, a can of Coca-Cola. Can Tell I say this, Scott really Greasy, Back in Black by ACDC, number 90. And The Strokes is this year, one of my favourite albums of all time, number 68. I mean... Oh, Oasis, 58. Anyway, let's move yeah, on. Yeah, but The Chronic by Dr. Dre was number 19, so, you know, makes sense. I've only got one album on there, so, you know, that's a win for me. How about this? <laughs> I've been watching this girl called Bobby um, Bobby Alpha or Alpha. So now, she was in, she was interviewing a rapper called, by, called Suki Hana. These okay. are amazing names. These are amazing names. Yes. So Bobby is interviewing Suki. Let's yep. just go with that. Bobby and Suki. I love the name Suki. Now, I'm with feeling that this is a real interview. Have a listen to this. I didn't know that about you. What do, what do you know? That you're a musician. But that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm-hmm. What the f*** that mean? Make magic or something? <laughs> what is a musician? I think that's... I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, th- I make music. Oh my gosh! She okay. thought she thought what? that she thought she meant magician. I'm not a musician. Stop. I make music. Oh, no. Did you hear that? Stop. Here's some more. Stop. I make music, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star too. A young mom. Uh-huh. I just really quick. I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you I, you I, thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the <laughs> f- you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. Ah! I said magician, not magician. I don't think, baby. But, I don't think. Magician. What is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. Oh, that is babes. so funny. A magician. Oh, babes. I told, I told you the story. She's got that shovel and she's, she's digging. Yes. She's digging. Like oh, when I went on the date with a guy in Adelaide years ago and he goes, can you believe, this is like 10 years ago, can you believe one of the new Real Housewives is a barista? <laughs> <laughs> it was the next day I told him, babe, barrister. Sorry. My nine-year-old yeah. son wanted me to buy him an autistic guitar. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> No. He's Dasha. You stick, you little cutie. And Austin. Magician. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Thank you, Dasha and Austin. Quick little uh, update about Suki. The So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Suki says, Suki ain't no musician. She is a mogul. That's what she said on X. So there you go. She's really doubled Hang down. On. Suki was talking about herself. Yeah. In, the in third, third person, person or Donald Trump style. It's real cute, isn't sure, it? I just need to I need to hate read that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she's a great magician. Yeah, she is. <laughs> um, how did you ruin the outfit? Oh dear, that's the question. Oh my now. gosh. 13, 24, nice. 10. How did you wreck your outfit? When I, mean, I sent sent this through, I knew it would make the board. I just knew there was no no better piece <laughs> yeah, of content of in my know. email. <laughs> And if it wasn't for Quick Draw After Five, I mean, it would have been deep into the uh, evening of our show, you know, late, the late, up late with Ricky Lee, Tim and Joe After Five, but we had yes. to... Yes. 5.30. <laughs> yeah. But we have doing, to do it now. We're doing this at 4.30. Now, just, this has got bright, this is bridesmaids all over, okay. as in the film. So, an event planner took to Reddit to share one of the worst wedding day mishaps she's ever witnessed. And I imagine she's seen a fair few, if you're the wedding planner. So, <laughs> in the... <laughs> hot take... Mr. In the Bonks, leader, Mr. Bonks, Big yeah, <laughs> I'd be such a bridezilla. Oh my gosh, um, can't wait now, for that. I know. I kind of want it. I, I don't really want the day. I just want all like the nightmare leading up. Who would MC your wedding? Joel. I already already know who <laughs> would MC my wedding. We've yes. already asked. Who? My friend Kyle. Oh, that's I'll, that's a good choice. Yeah. Yeah, good choice. Um, who sometimes does POs for the show? Um, so, in the lead up to th- this wedding, the bride had been consuming a lot of health shakes, which weren't mixing well with her post ceremony cocktails. So she's obviously done, they've done the wedding. They're at the ceremony. The yep. bride's tummy started to churn, and she's decided to gamble on what she believed would be just a little, just a little fart. Just let out. Oh. But there was follow through. She wasn't no! expecting no! the bride wearing waterproof shapewear trapped the follow through, which was described. Oh, I don't know. Do you want? Do you want the description? Um, you, uh, uh, do you know who you're talking to? Of course I oh, yeah, do. Okay, okay, baby. Slimy, oily, stringy, and the consistency of hair gel. Oh my god, like Taft. Yes, I oh, don't think Pink no. would have whacked that in her hair. Yes. Um, it's Cameron Diaz style. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 Cameron used the other stuff. No, and because yeah. in the shapewear, it's just sitting there in the shapewear that's really tight on you, so it's probably just like smeared all over your bum. Well, so oh, at no. the end, she had to wash off in all a makeshift bath and her $15,000 wedding gown was scrubbed <gasps> down. 
It's like in that in uh, Blades of Glory when Will Farrell's character vomits in the head of the wizard <laughs> that he's ice skating. Yes. It's like that. You can't. Yes. There's no getting out of that. I watched that the other no, night. I love that movie so yeah. much. That's, oh. and, and it's probably too much to, to ask. That, of course, are there photos of the, these these shape these soil no shapewear? No photos. No photos. It was didn't an, happen. It was, if there's no photos, it, it never anon happened. Anon on Reddit. <laughs> You know what those people are like. Oh, dear. Someone mm. definitely took a photo. Some bitchy bridesmaid definitely took oh, a photo. Oh, for sure. That's that's probably like the the um, the p- picture for the group chat that she's not in. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yes. The side chat. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I've, I've told this story a million times, but I, di- I did, you know, yeah. um, follow through at Southern Cross Station after eating too many goji berries. <laughs> that's right. Just had to throw out the jeans. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I told you that. I remember one time my friend did it in in his car. We were driving and he couldn't he couldn't hold it in any longer, and oh, he God. just started and he couldn't stop. It's happening. And then it's when, happening. We, when we pulled into his no. his driveway at his house, his partner had to go and get plastic bags and wrap them around his ankles and tie them at the ankles so that when he stood up, it didn't <gasps> oh go all gosh. over his. <laughs> That's that also true love. Are they still together? <laughs> yeah. That is true love, yeah. It's brilliant. It's and that's how you were awarded the shot at the project.com.au email address. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> that is her email. No, it's not actually her email, but yeah. <laughs> it's good save, today. Joel. Good save. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Thank you, Dua. Houdini. We get it. We get it. It's a quick draw day today. After five, we'll meet our guests in for their third attempt in the Quick Draw Cauldron. Ooh, Ooh third attempt. Quick Step Draw Cauldron is kind of nice. Yeah, that's good. Isn't that fun? Step I know. Like, like, <laughs> like a witch oh, yeah, stirring just, a cauldron. I'm just stirring all my questions. <laughs> Ooh, what could they be today? Like, like the start of the trapdoor. Remember to stay away <gasps> from that trapdoor. Trap You're a fool if you dare. Oh my god, that what? was a classic. That was I found that really scary. Yes, I am. I have yeah. my yoga on my beanbag and watch trapdoor. Oh, what same. is that? This is it here. Nothing it was compared to the horrors that lurk beneath the trapdoor. Do you not know this? Sounds like Michael Jackson thriller. There. It's always something I think it was on after Hey Arnold. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> trapdoor. Oh, cool You're song. A fool if you dare. The episodes are like five minutes. Yeah. Like the, the old days, Sean the Shape. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This is ringing no Something bells for me. What are you doing? I don't know. Is it, was this on around the time of Captain Planet? Uh, yeah. Yes. Planet. Similar-ish. He's Captain Planet was sort of petering out at that point. Pollution down to the you were Planet. probably gigging. I probably was. But also, <laughs> Captain Planet did nothing for the environment because he wanted no. to take pollution down to zero ages ago. Oh, I, know, man. I know. He was the original Greta Thunberg. Yeah, he really was. <laughs> yeah. Planet. Punchier speeches, Captain Planet. <laughs> like, a, bit, a few more colours. And, and cooler outfits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really yeah they cool. had powers. Okay. okay. Let's do this. The, the most ridiculous thing you bought, 13, 20, 14. You might even be you might even regret the purchase. You might be like, no, I don't care what people think. I love it. The, the most ridiculous thing you bought, 13, 20, 14, go. I, Tell us because this I've just seen this thing and it's the most ridiculous thing because there there is no possible way of using it. Yes. It is a stupid thing yes. and an absolute waste of money. And I'm down for people wasting of their course. money. Do you, boo? Yeah. But this yeah. is just stupid. This is just rich people doing stupid things. Let me just ask one more time. What did you buy? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Thirteen twenty four ten. Ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. So, you know, bags, handbags can be very, very expensive. There's like Hermes oh my God, Birkins yes. that Birken. can be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Which is ridiculous. And Chanel handbags that are very... they But but Hermes handbags and Chanel handbags, they hold their value and you can resell Not them. Not if I own mine. I'd wreck it. 100%. You've got to look I, after them. I do have a thing for bags. Like, ba- a ba- like I, I love a, a fancy bag. A good bag you can have for your whole life. Yes, I think I agree. A, a good bag and a good jacket. How much would you pay for a bag? Don't ask me that. <laughs> actually, remember when we were doing a lap of the map and people kept saying, oh, my gosh, Ricky, I love your bag, but it was actually mine. Oh, your bag that <laughs> my, you wear. My yeah, handbag. Your, hand, your I man do bag. love your handbag. That is a great handbag. It's oh, a beautiful handbag. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, so, so as a fashion item, handbags hold their value. Good ones, certain brands, they hold their value. Yes. But this one is just stupid. This is a microscopic Louis Vuitton handbag that has sold for over $63,000 at an oh, online ridiculous. auction. When it you say is, Microscopic. Microscopic, as in that? it's narrow enough to pass through the eye of a needle. You cannot put anything in it. Oh, that you, is so look stupid. Look at it. Look at it on that the fingertip. So 
that's what, like you, it's it's even if you're it, you know some people like to have an item. A, a, a designer item that they can kind of have on their arm, so that people like it's some. That's what some people. That's like. why Bali was invented. They like showing like I, I've <laughs> Bali got this was thing and, and was showing off what it that. means. But you can't even, <laughs> as one of those people, show off that bag because no, no one I, can see it. A big version of that bag. It's not really my style, but I'd be like, get it, girl. But that is ridiculous. But how's this? It started. The bidding started at fifteen thousand dollars. Oh my god! And oh it ended god. up okay. just over sixty three thousand oh dollars. People something are ridiculous. Aren't um, they? Danny and Julie stay there. You got a ridiculous buy as well. This is kind of as ridiculous, I think. Uh, yes, I mean, there's some history-ish to this one. Oh, is a it? feather that is reportedly to be over 100 years old has sold at auction for twenty eight thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars. Feather. It once belonged to a hua bird which was reportedly last seen in 1907. Oh, she's been shy. Um, <laughs> the feather is not allowed to leave New Zealand without permission from the Ministry of Culture and Heritage. Funny that was true. So you can't you. even feather. take it around to show off, to be like, oh, I'm going to wear that. Check out me feather. Me party in Sydney hat. on the weekend. Oh, and I get all pooned up for your little dinner party in Sydney. Pop it on I your know. hat and pop down to the race course. <laughs> um, get wasted. Julie, what do you got? <laughs> You're a, your ridiculous bye. You, <laughs> you know those crazy wire things you used to get with the handle on top and you'd rub up and down on your scalp. Oh, yeah. The yeah. orgasm yes. Yes. Yeah, that, yes. Well, I, I didn't buy it for that purpose, but uh, <laughs> I've never used the thing after once, so there yeah. you go. What do you mean? A bit ridiculous. You silly. don't just sit there going well, o- going over and over and over again? Well, it's like scratching your own head or washing your own hair. You can't do it with your own hands. It's nice when someone else is doing yeah, it. Yeah, someone else. I was going to say, if someone else true. does it. But I guess that's the idea. It feels like someone else is touching your head. Yeah, but then your arm gets sore when you're holding it up and like. I never knew I was called an orgasmatron. No, that's it's not I mean, that's how... what I always called it. <laughs> yeah. no, that's, oh, no, that that's was the just name of it. No, it was the name. If you type in orgasmatron. I yeah, I know. I remember. I just didn't understand it. You I was didn't... like doing this with it. <laughs> no. <laughs> is it really called that? <laughs> yeah. I was like, would it be called like head, metal head scratcher? I suppose someone walked into my room. I said, that's for your head, you know. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Lu- Lucy. Gross. <laughs> Lucy, you're ridiculous. Yes, I bought a piece of land in Scotland to get the oh. title of being a lady. Oh, that's Oh, my awesome. God. That's amazing. Lady yes. Lucy. Lady Lucy, but I got my birth date wrong, so it said I was like two years old. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Well done, oh, Lucy. Lucy. Lady Lucy. Another 10K day, mate, coming up after 5 2. If you have been on the air or you've downloaded the Nova player and you're registered, it could be you. Keep your phone on, we're calling soon. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Post Malone, Morgan Wallen. I had some help here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Where have you been? Oh, well, just a little tip if you're a young radio person, don't talk to Smallsy in the hallway. If you think you can also do that and get to the bathroom. <laughs> young That's people might be able to. You're a bit puffed, old man. I do love our little chat so far with <laughs> And I ran. And I also hate cutting my chat with Smallsy short, but I also need to wee. He's a ah, font of knowledge. Too many things to do. Should have invited me to the so toilet next time. time. Yeah, oh, that's, that's cute. That's you better. could have crossed swords and had a chat. I know. Isn't that what nothing. boys do? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Don't right. numbers dragons. out of his address book. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not a dragon. Crossing swords. Oh. You be the dungeon. <laughs> uh, no thanks. Um, this is Kate Blanchett. Oh, okay, she, okay, okay, okay. Oh. And she has said, she's come out and said something passionate. Yeah, she said but she she's... only ever sings passionately, I think. No, is it that she's um, she's blue collar? Let's have a listen. I'm white, I'm privileged, I'm middle class. Middle class. Oh my God. Let me do it with the music. I'm white. I'm, I'm white. I'm privileged. I'm middle class. I love she's her. She's wearing so Sunny's inside there as well. I love her cool. so much. She's the best. <laughs> yeah, I do. She's a great actress. I just love her. That I want to be her friend. I want to. I want to have par- like dinner parties with her and stuff. Surely I don't you think can make she'd that like happen. You. No. I don't well, think she, she's why your don't you her think type. She, why? Why? Because she's so like. She, I feel like Kate Blanchett's like always like getting ready to put on like a, like a show like what War the of STC? the Roses and uh, the STC and you don't like theatre and I think she'd constantly be moisturising when she wore something. You know, like. well, she I does would... moisturise in. I've seen her moisturise a lot. Yeah, in she's in, in a lot of commercials as well. She wouldn't have moisturised as Elizabeth. Oh. oh, they didn't have moisturiser back then. I used to think that when I saw the poster <laughs> yeah. for that movie, I thought it was a movie about Toby Puddick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Have you seen Notes on a Scandal? Notes on a Scandal yes. with yeah. Kate Blanchett and Judy Dench. That is in my, in my top ten films. Mm. Oh, wow. Write a list. 
Anyway, no, no more lists. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. I'll see you soon at the STC. My <laughs> season pass at the Absolutely. STC. Mm-hmm. $729 a, a ticket. Do you have any Chablis? <laughs> oh, yeah, I should oh. be on the Chablis. <laughs> Two Chablis for the STC, thank you. <laughs> yes, they're for me. Don't mind this, that's just my STD. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have some RESPECT <laughs> at the STC. Oh, no, yes. I did RSVP. Respond <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get in. The show's starting ASAP. <laughs> and Finn. <laughs> Finn. Next glossy, please. What's happening here? Let's go to the block now. Oh, oh this is J Lo and um, the guy that I think is is so beneath her. What's his ben name? Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> she can do so much better. So everyone is saying that they're they're getting divorced, right? And I just feel like this is the rumor mill, and this is people doing what they did to them. 20, however many they've years not spent, ago. They've been apart for 49 days. He's filming a movie, isn't he? Oh, well, these guys get on planes every five seconds. You look at Travis and Taylor when, when one person had a two days off, yeah, the other person once, popped to their work and saw them. But once his season starts and she's still on tour, then they might not see each other for 20 days. Like, it's not. it doesn't mean they're getting divorced. I think it does. And then I, um, mm. I was watching TMZ and they said that oh, right. I love <laughs> watching TMZ so much. It's so good. Um, that, that because she's looking at houses in Look one place and one of them is looking They're at houses. They're living in Gemma's, separate Gemma's houses. Or do they just have a, house, do Look, they have a house in New York and a house Look, in LA? They're living in separate houses that are 17 minutes apart. Maybe so they're deciding to... <laughs> move in together, you'd save money. You'd Maybe save money. <laughs> one of them snores Anyway, they asked about this in an interview recently when she was in Mexico. Mexico, promoting her new Netflix movie, which is terrible which by reports. So Atlas. Bad. I mean, you don't have to say yes to everything, J-Lo. Ben Affleck is real, these, these rumors. Okay, we're not doing that. What is it true? Thank you, sir. So <laughs> <laughs> what is it true about this situation? She's so beautiful. Come on, don't come in here with that. Thank you so much. I love that. Jenny, Jenny. I just, I just don't, so stunning. I just don't love when when these big celebrities come in and do these interviews with people, and we all know heaps of people that have had interviews with these yeah. kinds of people, that they they put parameters in and, and put rules in and say, you can't ask about this. And yeah. all it makes people want to do is ask, ask about exactly. it. It's ridiculous. It's just if you should, as the professional at what you do, going yeah. out and doing the promo trail, yeah. you should be able to answer the question without giving an actual answer. 100%. And even when you don't answer, like, Jenny... Um, they still use it. We still talk about it. So you yeah. pretty you much have answered. She said, you should know better than that. You but should you, know better but, than that. But you can talk. You cannot give an answer, but talk for ages about nothing and bring talk about this and talk about that and then say that, like, you can, yeah, for you sure. really can give a long-winded answer without actually giving an answer. I 100%. just think you need but to also, be, you could have done a number. But also, it'd be very easy if Ben Affleck's still your husband. You just go, no, nah, it's, it's all rubbish. But maybe, maybe uh, all. But maybe uh, no. But maybe all of this. We're all talking about it, and we're also talking about her new movie that it, Atlas it that looks stinks. pretty. Yeah, yeah, true. So maybe this is all oh for my that. Oh gosh! A movie that looks the code. very good is The Surfer, and this next person's in it. He filmed this in Perth, is that Nicholas Cage? or not Perth in WA. Yeah, that is Nicholas Cage. Have a this. Filmed it down in Margaret River. Dude, that's my board, and I want it back. It's the best. Um, <laughs> His new movie, The Surfer, has premiered at Cannes and received a six-minute standing ovation. The cage is back, guys. I love it. it was oh yelling up, gosh. yelling up in WA. Yelling up. I'm so sorry, right next door to Margaret River. No the release. are nicer and yelling up. Yelling no release up. date yet. The STC might have the premiere. Oh, um, the cage <laughs> might be throwing a little <laughs> shindig. Final glossy, please. This is great. So oh, you- is this um, Kelly Rowland? Yeah. Did you see what happened? Yes. And I've completely what forgotten. What was it about? She was, she was walking up the, the stairs at Cannes, which I have no idea to... why, because it's a film festival. No, she's in a film. She's got a film that's just come out. Is really? it a Tyler Perry film? Who's, whose invite did she stole? <laughs> One of her songs. Um, she was pictured shouting and waving in. a finger at a member of staff, and oh, the lip yes. reading expert said, Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. You're not my mama. Oh. Jenny. Thank you. Oh, yeah, she's angry. Ooh. Love it. Tim, K, a day in May. Thanks.
Business to Liberty. Loans for free thinkers. Need 10k or more? Free think your way to a home, car, business or personal loan with Liberty today. Eligibility and conditions apply. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Thank you very much for getting involved in our 10k day, mate. You can't do this thing on your own, you know. It's no about way. a band of brothers. So I've done some stuff with Liberty in the past and they were so lovely. Of course. And there's the statue, obviously. <laughs> uh, the statue, yes. Yeah, she's she's, she's also, also lovely. She's just she's a walk or up in her. Yep. I've walked up in there. I've been up in her helmet. That's so Or whatever kind. you call it, her hat. I don't want people getting all up in me all day long. Tourists, yes, right, in your face. Up yeah. in her helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a crown or tiara? It was a crown. It wasn't it's a, a it was a gift. It was a gift from the um from the French. Yeah, and Michael Jackson did uh, the black and white film clip in the torch. Yeah, that's right. It's oh, all good. She's constantly up, running eh? with the Olympic torch. She's ready for the Olympics 24-7. Oh, God, she's more of a calm games girl. She's like the, she's like <laughs> the Wednesday wheel. Sense. She's a big curvy girl. <laughs> she's, she's a curvy girl. Huge. Okay. And loves green. Loves the colour green. Does she? Is she green? Well, she loves yeah, she's, she, a, she's, she's always a, in a green dress. She's a, green a, frock. A, a shade of green, isn't she? Oh, I don't ask yeah. me. Well, you yeah, can't she see. All right, let's she give away 10 grand. You can see green, though, can't you? I can. That's why the Statue of Liberty doesn't appear green what to me. What colour is the Statue gray. of Liberty? Grey. Okay. Yep. You're maybe she's, maybe she's... Am I grey? You're grey today. What? You're always grey. Are you joking? You're always grey. You're always grey. I'm You're always grey. As yeah. in, you look at me and you see grey. That's I'm like telling me I'm beige. <laughs> I know. No, I You're not beige. You're grey. <laughs> yeah, you ain't beige, baby. Let's make the next call, okay? And no talking over the rings, please. I don't know the rules. Who's, who's going to go first? It's just going It's impro, improv. Oh, improv, okay. Adlib, yeah. Adlib. Yeah, Adlib. Yeah, okay. Hello, Jamie yes, speaking. Hi, Jamie. Oh, Ricky did. Oh, Ricky, that was really How good. How are you? I'm very good. Um, I just wanted to, to say hello and introduce my friends, Tim and Joel. Hi, Hi Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Are you having a wonderful day, Jamie? This is Joel um, talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a great day at work. How's Queensland today? Is it sunny? Is it beautiful? Is it lovely? It's actually really nice today. Looks nice today, like 23-ish from, from memory. Yeah. yeah. It's nice and funny. Just, yeah. <laughs> Anything that could maybe improve your day, Jamie? Oh, nice. Oh, I don't know. What could improve my day? Pick a number. <laughs> Pick Ten. A n- oh. 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 <laughs> oh. She's on the right track. Jamie, how does, like does $10,000 sound? That sounds amazing. You got it. Hey! Well it's all yours, Jamie. <laughs> That's so good. What are you going to spend $10,000 on on this beautiful oh, Queensland I- day? <sighs> A holiday would be great. Oh, yes. I love that answer. Where would you like to go? James Street Sushi, then the Khalil. (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah, one night at the Khalil. Anywhere out of Australia or even in Australia. Okay, out of Australia or in Australia. That's good. That's rounded it down for us. I mean, we really put you on this. (laughs) You're one of our easiest winners, Jamie. You're like, yeah, great. Everything's great. Yeah, I'll go on a holiday in in or out. I don't care. Yeah, who would say no to 10K in a holiday? I'm surprised. No, hang on. Whoa, whoa. It's not 10K and a holiday. (laughs) (laughs) It's just 10K. That that first class 50K thing happened last time. Uh, Congratulations, Jamie. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Love you, you, Jamie. You could be Jamie tomorrow. love Jamie. If you'd like to Love you so much, Jamie. Just jump on the air tomorrow. Register on the Nova Player. You know how it works. Are you Jamie Sugar Daddy? I love Jamie. I know she's got ten thousand dollars going like her. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Oh yeah, fresh hits and throwbacks. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Take care, you dang it, mate. Isn't that the song? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see if it is. Oh my god, oh my god. Take care, you dang it, But I'm frozen in motion. Why wouldn't we use that version? Well, I think I think because we now own May. Like, like no offense to the other, um, you know, stations haven't given it a crack, but um, you know, we own May. Ten <laughs> k a day, you know, given a crack with their little phoners and the little, you know, whatever they do. Um, but we own ten k a day in May. This is my third year doing it. What rhymes with May? Day. Hey. I oh, know. I'll go gay because. <laughs> I've got something, and I think you'll <laughs> like. You'll find this fun, okay? Me, so Me all, of, all yeah, of us. Yeah, we've got you. All of us, right? Yeah. Here's the thing. I want you to call up right now. Ten gays a day in May. <laughs> I want you to call up right now on thirteen twenty four ten. Ten gays a day in May. <laughs> oh my god, I'd be exhausted. <laughs> yeah, that's what you used to do in your twenties. I know. What's happened in my thirties? I've become a real prude. You're, you're a nana. Yeah, you are like the the what's what's her name? He's, he's she's the old lady of the show. I am. You yeah, really are. Like the Maggie Beer of the show. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm Barcelona, my veggies, bitch. So I want you to call up on 13 24 10 and say, hi, I'm blah, and I driver, and then tell us what you drive. And then we have to guess if you're gay or straight. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Because, oh, I'm not going to be very good at this. I don't think. This is pretty good. I think our gay dads are pretty good. We've got a really fun gay dad, too, don't we? Okay. Oh, there we go. Um, so this was like an oh, this was from an American kind of like sixty minutes type I show love this so much. about twenty minutes, uh, twenty years ago. Yeah. Okay. And the reporter was going, "So we even study the way they talk." <laughs> like, oh my <laughs> gosh! Have a listen to this. This is brilliant. They also studied the way gay and straight people talk. Hey, nice to meet you. I drive a Hellcat Charger. Sounds straight to me. And is straight. Hello, I drive a Tesla Model Three. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Remember that show, okay. um, that dating show where you had to sort of win the girl's love and half of the guys were gay and half of them were straight and she ended up picking the gay dude? What was that called? That was gay around the straight. same time as um, There's Something About Miriam. I don't know. Oh. Hey, gay dude, where's my car? <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. So what, we want people to call, call up. up. You say, hi, I'm blah and I drive a blah. And we have to guess. Yeah, it's going to be pretty gay easy. Yeah. Straight up, yeah. Sounds straight my- to me. Gay. <laughs> Sounds straight to they me. They also well, studied the way gay and straight people talk. I mean, that's the best. <laughs> I know. And look, I don't help the stereotype with my voice, and I apologise to the gay community. But you know, I have, I have my, um, I have my skipper's ticket. So that's oh, yeah. Right. There you go. All right. Let's, you know? Here's the first one. I want you to guess. Here's a practice one. Okay. You're on the Jermaine plane. <laughs> Sounds oh. gay to me. <laughs> Let's see if it's right. Okay. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> we love Jermaine! Uh, the show Joe is called Playing Straight, the show you were thinking of. Playing Straight. And okay. I remember the guy that won was so hot. So 30, 24, 10. Remember, if you jump on the air and get on the air with us, you're in the running for tomorrow's 10K. Just that simple. Uh, I love this. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel? Hi, Daniel. Hi, I'm Daniel, and I drive a Ford Ranger. Straight! Straight. Gay. Yeah. Nah. Straight. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. I only I said that because I used Ranger. to draw, drive a Ford. I had, I had a sparkly blue me. Ford Focus. Yeah, a Ford. Yeah, see, I was going to say a Ford yeah, Fiesta okay, or a Ford Focus. Say, I, hi, I'm Joel Greasy, you know, I drive a Ford Focus, and we'll guess if you're going straight. <laughs> Can I do Do I have to do it in my voice? You just, just do, do it, it the way you talk. Yeah, go. Oh, how do I talk? Annoying. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm. No, that's too. I started too high. Hey, I'm. No, because I don't ever. Hey, I'm Joel Creasy, and I drive a Ford Focus. Okay. <laughs> Is that How right? I know. I might have changed. No, yeah, you, you were born that way. You're just telling us about your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. Chuck is Jack. Okay, <laughs> Alex. Hi, I'm Alex, and I drive a Toyota Hilux. You're gay. <gasps> the Toyota Hilux <laughs> makes me think that you're a lady tradie, yeah. but that doesn't mean you're gay. See, girls are no, harder. No, yeah, I'm gay. <gasps> I'm going straight. I'm mm, going to say. I'm actually... Oh, no, wait, 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 Alex. Oh, yeah, this more gay. Than just gay and straight. <laughs> I'm actually neither. I'm bi. Oh, yes, Alex. So, in other words, gay. Beautiful, Alex. No. <laughs> I'm joking. No, bi. I love that. Oh, no. And why do you drive a for- Why do you How drive a, a Hilux? Because I used to live in Western Queensland, and my little buzz box just didn't cut it. Your little buzz box. <laughs> wow. Is that, what about what, what about car? What car you have? Yeah, I, I used know. to have no. a Holden Verena. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I'm changing my answer to gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. My buzzer box gets me in trouble. <laughs> always, all the damn time. It's always buzzing and buzzing. <laughs> and that was the Gay Australia Open Live. Oh, I love that so much. Can we do that all I the know. time? Oh, we've got Jasmine here. Come on, one more Everyone's Jasmine. Everyone's welcome around here. Yeah. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Oh, hi. Jasmine. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and I drive in Fort Territory. Gay. Okay. Fort Territory. Straight. Straight. It's a mum car. Jasmine? And she's having trouble with her phone too, so <laughs> Jasmine? Oh, I'm gay. Mom. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gay dad is so bad. Oh, we're so off. My gay dad's amazing. Yeah, yours is good. Ricky, yours okay. should be I'm better. I'm on record. Well, I just need to be in a room with someone, and if they flock to me, they're gay. If they stay away from me, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds amazing. You got it. Hey. It's all yours, Jamie. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. We love Jamie. Now, this is Jojo Siwa. Is a song called Anthem? Calm is this sorry. from her new album that she said is going to be her Miley Cyrus era? Which, ugh, well, and okay, also, Jojo. didn't she claim that she wants to be the first person to make gay pop? I was like, babes. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> come on. <laughs> We're just going to briefly touch on Jojo Siwa, but I think Sounds we need to unpack to her. <laughs> yes, well, no, not anymore. Another time because she's posted a video. I, I was never really across Jojo Siwa because she was for kids initially. Yeah. Um, now she's grown up. She's posted a video on TikTok of her celebrating her 21st oh, yeah, birthday. I saw this. Have a li- look and a listen to this. <laughs> it's my 21st birthday. I'm drunk as f- right now. <laughs> Something over there. My bread I'm supposed to eat. <laughs> What was her looks like? A fun kitchen bench? Yeah, she's oh she's kind of gone. That's pretty fun though, isn't it? She's twenty one. Yeah. Well, no, she, oh, she also explained that she was punched in the face while celebrating her birthday, and then the next day she went to Disneyland to she celebrate. To, yeah, she went to but, Disneyland and was and like, oh, there's all these videos of her just wasted. Oh Jordan really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's there's definitely more to this story. <gasps> Watch this space. I oh. kind of love what's going on with her. She's really. She's found herself. She is, but there's something really fascinating and a little bit disturbing about it. Yeah. Child star. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who would have thought? Oh, no. You they raised them so well in Hollywood. <laughs> yes. Hey, it's Quick Draw next for their third Sorry. attempt after this. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> well, on Nova. Ben Lee and Bell coming up. They have a killer prize giving you a trip to Perth to watch AC Milan and Roma. And, of course, you can win your way on a Euro summer with Smallsy in the surgery. But now it's time to meet our next quick draw guest. Our next guest is definitely not your average Joe. Hey, Joe. Why can't people just be kind? A celebrated journalist and commentator. He's featured on TV, radio, news and even written a memoir. Funny thing, I used to be a journalist. And he's back with a new podcast, The Real Story. Please welcome Joe Hildebrand. Yeah, here he is. Oh, hey, hey. that is fantastic. I've got to get your representation. That sounded amazing. Weird, isn't it? You like Cotton Eye Joe as well? I'm a- Cotton Eye Joe is the best. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what the world needs more of. Country music set to techno. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It hasn't been done enough. So you said I was celebrating. Who's celebrating me? Everyone. Really? We are, well, you we are, are celebrating, celebrating you. You've won Publishers, News and Human they Rights Awards. must I mean, have sent the invite won. to my Hotmail. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Joe underscore that Hildebrand 69. That's right. Yeah. Jolly Joe. <laughs> Joe. I was celebrating you last weekend. Tim Tim brought in a, a, a paper. Oh my. And and this is what I'm really excited about your podcast because oh, it's it. like the news headlines, news stories in and you explain it to me. I like that a lot more. But I I read I read one you of read, your articles. Really? Like, I actually, yep, I actually ripped it, it I ripped it out of the paper. Yeah. The paper. And I said yes, to Ricky, Look at you one. old school. If you want to know physical. about this issue, you should read this. I said, okay. I, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to find articles. out from you how this is how this all goes. There you go. This Very is fantastic. Insightful. You sound just like my focus group. Great. Because <laughs> we did we did some market research, and it turns out what people are really crying out for mm. is another celebrity podcast. <laughs> yes, or another or another for podcast it. says, "Hey, I read the news, so you don't have to." <laughs> oh. I'm going to break it down for you, Joe. We were just talking yes. about the, the glory days off air of Studio Ten, oh, and yes. do you remember that day? It was Halloween, yes. and I was the last one in, and you're all dressed up as each. Other and I drew the short straw and I was Ida Buttrose. Yes. Who were you again? Really? Yes, that was the um, that was that was the time I think you realised that all life is finite and that we all <laughs> we all meet our maker in the end and not in the way of our choosing. But I yes, think you were dressed as, as Jessica Rowe. I was I was Jessica and I did a. Uh, we figured we might as well take our private life into the public arena. So I dressed Great. up as her and she dressed up as me. And, Brilliant. Um, that was obviously the highlight of my TV career. I can't understand why we both left the show after that. <laughs> that yeah. seemed to me, I mean, I, mean, I know TV, right? I filled in for you once and you gave the audience um, those little uh, dishwashing tablets, but just oh like a God. pack of three. Oh, they're expensive. What no, just a mean? pack of three, those little you, samples. What do you mean? Like, think, like finished tabs. I think there was... Like, oh, hey, have a good rest of the day, guys. I, I think, they're bougie. I think there was a day where we actually expensive. gave away snail pellets. <laughs> but you know, like, but you know, like we say in television, you got to spend money to make money. You know, Absolutely. those snail pellets were an investment in the future of the show. And now <laughs> look, look at, now look at it. Yeah, well, who cares about TV? We're on radio talking about, about your podcast. I overrated. Yeah, I'm yeah, a, I'm, a, that. I'm not a visual guy. The real story I'm with Joe Hildebrand. I'm so excited for this. Mm-hmm. I'm really pumped. Yeah. It is, I'm well, going to get smarter just by listening to this. Well, I just know it. The thing, yeah. the weird thing is, well, you will because obviously I know everything, obviously. and I'm just going to tell you. And yeah. I'm just, you know, <laughs> my daddy said if you got something good, give it away for free. But oh. we are. We just give it. But there's so much <laughs> stuff. Like I, it's kind of weird because when and you forget that, like most people, I think get confused by the news. They don't know who's 
bollocksing them. I don't know yeah. if we can swear on air. And who's actually on the level. And everyone's got a sort of angle. Everyone's got a sort of agenda. And then that makes everyone just suspicious of everything. It's like, yes. oh, the yes. media's all lying to us and the government's all lying to us and all the politicians always lie to us. And sort of those of us sort of in the middle of the maelstrom, we sort of all know what's going on and what the mechanics are. And you can pick up a story and be an anonymous source go, I know who that is. Or you yeah. can say, you know, oh, he's <laughs> not going to call an election or he's going to call an election or he's, he's promised he'll stick up for the, the tax cuts. And then you'll realize, you know, hang on, no, he's not committing to the tax cuts. Yeah. And so it's, it's almost like kind of x-ray vision you have if you're embedded in it. And then you see all these people out there going, it's all lies, it's all lies. And then just making up their own stuff. Yes. And so I thought I'd do the world a solid. I'd do a community service. I'd restore faith. <laughs> And cut the bullshit. In the Murdoch media. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But, and, yeah. 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 And, so, and, um, and there's also just so much, like, so much goss. Yeah. So much Gossip's dirty, so dirty opinion. goss I've got. Yes. No, no, Sometimes... that's what's in the podcast. That's oh. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. oh. All, sorry. The dodgy, sorry. Yes. Yeah. All the dodgy stuff you there's can't really tea. put in writing. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you put it in a podcast, it's kind of like writing a book. You can put anything in a book and it's okay. But can you though? Because I was going to actually ask you about Rebel Wilson's book. You would know this better than any of oh, us, yeah. surely. Rebel Why Rising. is it allowed out in certain parts of the world and not allowed out here? Isn't there our defamation laws? Yeah, yeah. It, it depends if, like, there's if it's saying stuff about someone who is here, then you can't actually, and, it, and it's got a suppression order in it, yeah. then you can't do it. Or if the lawyers think it's too high risk and that person could oh. take action in an Australian jurisdiction. So, do you remember Blue Murder? Yeah. Do you remember the thing about Roger yeah. Rogerson? Yes. Right? Great so, series. Amazing series. Massive hit. Was shown everywhere in the country. Except New South Wales. Yeah. So there was like this invisible line that's on the right. Murray River where, that's, that's right. I mean, heaven forbid if someone tried to smuggle a VHS <laughs> or Betamax <laughs> tape <laughs> to Aubrey Wodonga. I'm oh, sure it happened. No. But, but yeah, so, so it's really weird the way all these different jurisdictions work. So even within Australia, you can have something like Blue Murder, I think it was subject to a suppression order. It's on in Netflix New South now, Wales. by the way. You should check it out. It's yeah, very good. Totally check it out. Yeah, and check it out. Turns out Roger Rogerson was a bit dodgy. I think, so. you did. I think he did it. Yeah, I think he did it. With the name. <laughs> I think he did it. I think if your name rhymes with Dodger. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got the first Just, and, if you've got the same First and last name. That, that's right. Can I say, you edit this out in New South Wales, but I think you did it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw to Albo now with the rules. I'm Anthony Albanese, and these are the official quick draw rules. Tim will give a category and a letter. The first to yell out a correct answer gets a point. The first answer you yell out is locked in. Best out of seven wins. Ultimately... Tim will exercise his discretion. A lot of people think that he recorded that for us before he became Prime Minister. No, he there recorded that for us at Kirribilli House as Prime Minister. Yeah. That's that's the album. That's you. the real story. That's the real story. That's, that's yeah. behind he the headlines. Very real. I, I spoke to him this week yeah. and um, he's totally for real. He, I, I said, look, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Here are your answers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> worked out really well. Well, you know, you're the reason I have his number. Yeah, that's because we got absolutely. We were at a party, and this is yep. before he was prime what? minister. Yeah, and the three of us had a few red wines. Just and, a few. And he yeah. said, "If you want to continue this conversation, put your number in here." And then we we did the whole like the the ring thing. What? Yeah, so then when yeah. he became PM, yep. I, I thought I'd test it out and I text that number. And I said, remember when you text him. Yeah, you, you probably got a few bit of this, but congratulations! And he gave me a yellow thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> loves oh the, he loves the emojis. <laughs> He also oh, likes the cool sunglasses emoji yeah. as well. So, come on, mate. You're not there yet. No. You're not, you're not Tom Cruise. I, know, I know you're really happy and you're in Joe love Biden. and everything. That's Joe but... Biden's thing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yes. Yeah. Joe yeah. Biden with the, with the aviators and the lolly, uh, the, the ice cream, not the yeah. lollipop. But it turns out having, having the Prime Minister's mobile number is actually a terrible, terrible curse. I never yeah. use it. I just like tell people I have such it. An, it's such a name it's just, drop. The, the pe- it's the ultimate. I think. I think. You know. If you think. You know. Texting and booze is bad. Just with your ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Try it when you've got the head of the government in your phone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Joe, another thing. <laughs> Joe, just quickly. I know because I know your besties. Um, Sarah Harris killing it on the project. Oh, as well. she's awesome, isn't you, she? I know you're like uh, you're literal best friends, aren't you? We are literal best friends. I literally just got off the phone to her before oh, I came she's in divine. here. Yeah, she goes on a bit though. Like, <laughs> paying, like the meter's running. Oh, I know. All those frequent fly points flying back and forth between I Melbourne bet, and Sydney yeah. must be tough. Actually, that's right. That, you, you rang me at like 11 o'clock one night and I said, I'm, I'm at, at your garage with Sarah Harris. Can we come in? Yeah. <laughs> that's my dream call. Yeah. That's, that's my dream call. You 
have yeah. a living. Uh, you, you were just talking about sitting and drinking with the prime minister. <laughs> That's how we roll. Number, That's how we roll. What? I'm Sunglass outside, emoji. Get, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can't have a garage. You can't. We can't do that to you. How's you that? Know the phone the number, just huh? <laughs> yeah, I will. On the IG. Now, Joe, you're playing Ricky. Let's do this practice <laughs> oh, question, God, then we'll okay. come back for real. Name something a journalist would write about, starting with W. Women. <laughs> Bang. Oh. Joe Hildebrand's here. Going to play quick draw for real. When we. If only we had a real journey. Back. Journey. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel's Quick Draw. I tell you what, if you want the real story, you get it with Joe Hildebrand. It's available to download wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, how many episodes have you got now? We're going to drop every week. There was a little teaser last week, and then the pro- first proper full episode is this week. It is Hot to Trot. It is live right now. Drop today. How, how long Ooh. are the episodes? It's a very personal <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the first one was too short. How long short. should they be? They should be, <laughs> they should be about 12, uh, uh, 33, 33 minutes yeah. the, um, this week's Girthy. one is. And that Long. feels right. That feels right to me. I, I think that's like, enough. Yeah, mine go for 20, 20 to 25, I've noticed. That's really? not what I heard um, yesterday. Unless when I do reviews. <laughs> That's yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> mine mine goes long and they're real sweary. Yeah, yeah well, we, we think the podcast is more of a grower than a show. Yeah, shower. absolutely. I get that. Sure. Um, all right, let's do this for real. Um, this is time for you to shine. I think I can't. No, it's three times. <sighs> you can do I this, Joe. I believe Joe. in you. Okay, I believe. You Look at the affirmations coming from all all around. All around. I know. I'm you can try you my take her down. Be. You guys sound like my last AA meeting. <laughs> 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 Brought to you by Pikes Riesling. <laughs> yeah, I'm your sponsor. <laughs> Question number one. Name an animal that can live on land and in water, starting with S. Snake. Seals can't live outside of Yeah, they can. Yes, they can. Of course they can. They're mammals. Yeah. Don't give it to her, though. I still had snake. Snake was a great answer. You can have a snake in a snake. No, Ricky was in. Ricky was in first, though. (laughs) It's not which answer's better. It's which one's first. Just because the answer to the last one was women doesn't mean we should let them win. (laughs) (laughs) You know? Oh, wow. The real story how's with that, Joe Hill. How's that for a yeah. hot take? How's that for real? The patriarchy. Not bad for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh Name gosh. something you'd find in a castle starting with P. People. Yes! Thank you! Course. Well done, Joe. Yeah. Right. How inclusive is that, huh? Patriarchy. That's Not all the population. Yeah. Patriarchy. You would also find the patriarchy <laughs> in a castle. That's true. <laughs> Name? That's one all. No, sorry. Um, this is my moment. Oh, I sorry, don't do sorry, sorry, sorry. I, this is I, Joel's I, I don't do anything in quick draw. It's one apiece. Name something you'd find in a fridge starting with M. Margarine. Mold. Mold? Okay. Well, well are we, we're talking about both my are disgu- fridge. <laughs> both are disgusting, but both I'll give it to you, Both are disgusting. <laughs> do you know margarine apparently is like black? Yes, yes. yes I've seen the video what? of the making like Yeah, plastic. yeah. It's, it's black. It's like Tazzy and then Salmon's grey. It's like Tazzy Salmon's grey. And they have to bleach it's it with red. Black. Yeah, yeah and they bleach it, it yeah, and black. then they they bleach it white and then dye it yellow, so it looks like butter. That's yeah. disgusting. Isn't it disgusting? That's actually now That's I know why I don't eat it. And it also sort of tastes gross too. So well, who has it? I'm always shocked people. when I go to someone's house and I'm having toast with them in the morning, which is you know not very. I was going to say how gross. gross. <laughs> it's also gross. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you know, you go Hi. visit you, someone and they're having like a cup of tea and some toast. Do you want to come in for some toast? And they've got margarine. Yeah, I know. That's. Gross. I feel sorry for the margarine in the supermarket now because I just know Sad. no one's buying it and everyone's just yeah. looking at it with disdain. Yeah. Going, yeah, yeah. Well, well, butter's like, a real flex now. Why, why were we eating it in the first place? I don't, I don't understand. Was it really cheap? Is it really cheap? Uh, was it like it's wartime rations cheaper. or no. something? Like Was it like chicory coffee? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. Okay. Name somewhere you go swimming starting with L. The Lou. Lake. Luna Park. Lake. That's pretty good actually. Mm. Well, you, did you say the loo to begin with? Yeah, you did say the yeah, loo well, to begin with, yeah. You can't swim in a loo. No, I mean, you can't. That's just silly. Well, Depends what, on how drunk you are. Well, going like. What do those people mean when they say I'm dropping the kids off at the pool? Poo. I know, yeah, that's why that's I was, I was trying to help you out there with that. That's I was trying to help you out there with that. That is explains there, a lot. You. No, oh, it I'm is paying, a I'm part of you. I've tried every which way I have to pay it to Ricky. It's three points to Ricky, one point to Joe. I know I don't make it easy for you. No. No, I know, but Joe, you need to get this next question correct to stay in the game, but I I feel like you can. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. I've just learned about margarine. There you go. Channel that. Channel that, Joe Hildebrand. Yeah, Tazzy Salmon was a big thing. Um, uh, The ABC ran a big thing about how it's pretty much, it was grey and they were making it Oh, so ABC National Broadcast is beating up on Tasmanians now. Hey, 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 I'm Tasmanian. (laughs) Do you know, (laughs) yeah, well, I I honeymoon, I love Tasmania. We honeymooned in Tasmania. Did you? Uh, Yeah, and we were walking down the street in uh, North Hobart. Very cool now. Very cool Very hot Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, very hip. And um, and we're newlyweds and everything. My wife's glowing, of course, because she's just got the man of her life. Love of her life. Yeah, man of her dreams. 
dreams. <laughs> and um, and there was these blokes outside a pub, and they actually they actually said, "Hey, mate, is your wife a model?" And I said, "No, no, we're just from the mainland." <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the win, Ricky, to save the game, Joe, name something you put on a hot dog starting with C. Chow cheese! No! Oh, Foghorn. Foghorn won that one. (laughs) Mate, lovely to see you as always. Lovely to see you. Love your work, guys. Congrats um, on the podcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I'll um, launch another one so I can come back and play Quick Draw again. Perfect. You can burst me. I'm a lot easier. (laughs) 